So welcome to day four of the Launch Your Workshop five day challenge. I'm Callan Rush. Congratulations on your participation so far. Woo, woo. <laughs> We're actually only one day away from completing the challenge, so stick with it. You're doing great. Now, if you've not already watched video one, two, or three in the challenge and completed the micro actions associated with them, pause this video and go and do that now. So far though, if you have been following along, you've chosen your topic, you've chosen your primary tribe, you've figured out the overall outcome of what you'll teach at that first workshop, you are well on your way to having your first successful event, and you're also ready for step four and the micro action that goes along with it. So step four is about choosing a title for your workshop. And this is one of my favorite steps. I absolutely love teaching about how to come up with great titles. So let's dive in. So there's two types of titles, pain-based and pleasure-based. There are also two types of events to create titles for, front-end events and back-end workshops. Now, there's a big difference between titles for front-end or marketing workshops and titles for back-end or paid workshops or programs. I won't get into depth about how to write titles for front-end or marketing workshops right now. That's something that our Magnetizer Audience program covers. And we're here to write a title for your first paid program. However, I will give you just a little context for front-end titles so you can determine the difference for yourself. So a front-end workshop is generally a free or low-cost event with the main goal of positioning a first paid program or workshop. So in other words, Front-end workshops are really marketing events. An example of a front-end marketing workshop was the one that I used in a previous video. So do you remember our clever nutritionist? Well, she led a first free three-hour workshop at a college, and it was called Three Massive Mistakes First-Year College Students Make That Cause School Failure and Disappointed Parents. Can you feel the pain in that title? So an example of a front-end marketing workshop that we've used to fill our first paid program, which of course is called Magnetize Your Audience, was three massive mistakes workshop leaders make that keep their event rooms empty. Lots of pain in that title as well, especially if you have empty events. <laughs> so anyway, front-end workshops are generally short, free, or low-cost marketing events. They're used as a first contact with a potential client, and they're promotional in nature. But what we're going to concentrate today is on back-end events, workshops that people actually pay to attend. That's what we've been building in the challenge. So what is back-end? Again, a back-end program or workshop is a paid program. It can be the first or the second or the third or the fourth workshop in your spiral. But a back-end event is educational in nature, though of course experience and transformation is part of the goal, and people pay to attend. So here's your main guideline when it comes to choosing titles. Pain on the front end and pleasure on the back end. <laughs> I'll say it again. Pain on the front end and pleasure on the back end. So the purpose of a paid program title is to speak to a primary and supplementary solution that your program provides. So in other words, it has to speak to that overall learning outcome that you chose. Of course, if you've been following along, you're going to have that overall learning outcome written down already. So this step is going to be easy for you. When you think of the title of your paid workshop, think about speaking to a hot result that a member of your tribe wants. The more clear the result is, the better. Some people like to get fancy with their paid program titles. Some even like to get poetic. But the best titles I've seen for paid workshops are just clear and to the point. A colleague of ours, Christian Michelson, he has some great examples of clear results-based titles for his programs. I want to share a couple of them with you. His list building program is called Really Big List, <laughs> right to the point. He also has one called Mastermind to Millions. He has another one called Free Sessions That Sell. Bill Barron, another colleague of ours, has also some really great titles. Master of Enrollment is the name of one of, his, one of his programs, and that's pretty clear. I mean, you know what you're going to be able to do at the end of that program. A few of our program titles are also pretty clear. So Mesmerize Your Audience, that's our Delivery From Stage program. We also have Monetize Your Audience, and that one's all about selling from stage. So you'll notice that with most of those paid workshop examples, the titles are two to three words maximum. 
You can always augment the main title with a byline, but when you're trying to name your workshop, keep it short. Now, there's a four-step formula that I follow when I'm brainstorming ideas for compelling paid program titles, and I call the formula the Be, Do, Have, Feel process. And here's how it works. After this video ends, I want you to take out a notebook and set aside about an hour or so of your time. And I want you to write the words be, do, have, and feel on different pages in your notebook. Then start to brainstorm what your clients will be able to be, do, have, or feel by the end of your workshop. So let's do some examples. In the be category, think of archetypes. My root mentor, T. Harbecker, is great at using B titles. He has a program called The Enlightened Warrior. By the end of that program, you will be an enlightened warrior, a warrior for the light. It's cool, right? His other program is called Wizard Training, and I loved that program as well. I felt like a wizard that could manifest anything I wanted in my life by the end of it. One of our clients has a program called Divine Channel, and another person I know has a program called Miracle Mom. And these are all great ideas for B-based titles for your paid workshop. The second category is do. And from this list, brainstorm what your clients will be able to do by the end of your program. Magnetize your audience is a great example of a do title. I took a program a years ago that was called Brand for Profit. And at the end of it, I was able to brand for profit. That was nine years ago, and I think we've done a pretty good job with our Lucrative Luminary Training brand and our Wealth Through Workshops brand. So, speaking of that, let's move on to category three, which is have titles. So, Wealth Through Workshops, which is the name of my book, speaks to what people who read it will have at the end. Emotional Wellness is another have title. Booked Solid Practice also qualifies as a have title. The final category of titles is feel. And one of my favorite feel titles is by a friend of mine named Satyan Raja, and it is Living Ecstasy. Can you feel it? I want that just by looking at the title. Another great feel title is Happy for No Reason. You got it? Okay. So obviously your micro action today is to choose a results-based, clearly articulated title for your paid program. To set you up for success, here's some tips. I want you to make it sound easy, not like a lot of work. I call this the magic pill approach. You want people to look at the title and immediately feel like it would be easy to get the result if they attended. Try to avoid using ING in your titles. For example, magnetize your audience sounds easier than magnetizing your audience. The ING seems to suggest more work will be involved, so keep it easy. Number two, make your workshop title easy to say and spell and watch the cliche factor. Quantum leap is a cool idea, but it's been done before by many other people. Number three, use resources to help your brainstorm. There's actually five main places that I often go when I'm trying to come up with great results-based titles for paid workshops. The first place I like to go is amazon.com. <laughs> All you need to do is go to amazon.com, type in a subject area that has to do with your topic, and see what books come up. You're going to get lots of great ideas from main book titles as well as the table of contents in books. The second place I like to go is my own bookshelf. I think it's a fantastic idea generator. I look at the bike book titles that I have uh, purchased and I get creative mixing and matching words. The third place is a magazine rack at your local store. So look for a magazine that your tribe might read and see what titles are listed on the cover. The best copywriters, title makers, and headline creators in the world write for big magazines, so borrow their ideas. The fourth place I look is at labels for products that I see out in my environment. I remember trying to come up with a title for a client who led outdoor retreats in the forest, hiking retreats. So one day on the bus, I noticed a label on a young woman's backpack, and the label said Power Hiker. And I was thinking, hmm, that might be a good idea for a program. I also look at poetry and prose to get ideas. Poets are the best wordsmiths around and often come up with beautiful, clear ways to talk about things. Truthfully, anything can be an inspiration for your title. Now, it's your turn. So your micro action for today is to brainstorm a list of be, do, have, and feel titles that are relevant to the overall learning outcome for your paid program. And once you have a list, I want you to choose one and post it on the Facebook group. 
As I said, I love looking at titles, so I'm gonna be going over your title ideas and giving you feedback and pats on the back. So that's it for today. Good job listening, have fun choosing your title, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. See you on the next video, and until then, be brilliant.